Jay from uh, shopship.com so in this session I will discuss regarding product configuration in Dynamics 365 so as you know uh, product is product is one of the most important part of any business so there is always a need to understand how the product is configured correctly in Dynamics 365 so that the products will be uh, you know uh, properly configured and properly added in opportunity and transactional records uh, that every day uh, the business um, required to uh, log the log the records now for this session uh, for this uh, we have to go to settings and we have to go to product catalog in my previous sessions i have already told you how to create unit groups and how to configure in the system so also the price list and the discount list uh, today we will discuss uh, regarding products and its families and bundle products and uh, the family hierarchy the product hierarchy concept so dynamics 365 provides an interface to create uh, products new products and create the product family and you can also create bundles so for the time being let's create a new product once you add new product it will prompt you to provide a product title and product name and let's say the name is the let's say hp 3d printer and the product id should be unique so let's say hv 3 d uh, 101 so the product id should be uh, you know uh, properly uh, given so that it should be unique if you give a duplicate product id then it will prompt you now unit group is mandatory you can select uh, as uh, uh, you know uh, computers or default unit uh, you can select this as primary unit decimal let's say 2.0 now save it now when you save the product you will find some more you know uh, command bar buttons is activated so for this product you can publish the product so that this product will be available to take part in transactional records like opportunity and quotations and all that Otherwise, the status of the product will remain dropped in left side, in left bottom. You can see here the draft. Until unless it is activated, this product cannot take part in transactional records of Dynamics 365. So every time you create a product, you have to publish it. And another, another, uh, once you publish it, it will be activated in the system. So the status is now active here. Now you can also revise an active product if there is any any you know name change or any unit change or whatever information you want to choose you want to change. You can reactivate it, revise it. So once you revise it, it will go to draft state again. So it will not in draft state it will be under revision status and once you change the uh, required things then you can all again reactivate or republish to make it active for transactional record availability so products can be retired or you can expire a product by you know by clicking the retire uh, button once you retire the product, these products, these products will not be taken part in uh, new, you know, uh, opportunities or new transactional records. Now you can clone the product, a specific product, so that all the default properties of the current product will be cloned to a new product, and in that cloned product you can change whatever data you want you want to change. So. You can also convert it, convert this product to a kit, uh, and uh, you're gonna add 
additional kit products uh, by changing this uh, you know uh, entire uh, product to a package and you can also run uh, processes for, for this product you can also run workflows dialogues whatever the out of the bus functionality available for this specific product so as i have told you the product is initially the draft state then once you publish it it will be activated so that it will take part in transactional records once you revise it it goes to under revision status and if you retire it then the product will no more available for uh, you know um, opportunity creation or quotation creation then if you go to product detail section you will find this minimum information or you can also specify family hierarchy in my next next session i will tell you the family hierarchy of products and um, if you can also go to product properties okay if if there is any family that is inherited then all the properties will be uh, will be available here as this is not a part of family so the properties are not uh, <coughs> not here now another section is additional section we have here you can define the you know uh, price list price list uh, price list is nothing but a level of pricing that we you know apply for a specific product uh, so that the estimated revenue or estimated cost of the opportunity will be calculated so you can associate the price list in this section so this will uh, show you all available price list items in then 65 so this is the price list item we have now here we can now you can select a price list item here let's say it's retail once we select it you can we can give the amount let's say 10 and say will close so we can associate with the price list for this product so this is how you can configure a product in on dynamics 365 so that and activate the product so that the products will be added as a line item in opportunity and quotations so that's what for this session in next session i will discuss regarding product family and product hierarchy thank you